uh, Incorporated, which specializes in uh, technology, engineering and design, training, and business consulting. Uh, Tell is a passionate and results-driven business leader. He worked at Chrysler for more than 13 years and received several awards of excellence and recognition during that time. He left Chrysler in 2005 to pursue an entrepreneurial dream and has put Kaiba on an aggressive growth path. Tell was recently chosen by Inc.com magazine in their Inc. 500 5000 list, and that was for the third consecutive year. And he was also honored with Michigan's 2010 Leader and Innovator Award by Grant Thornton, Lawrence Tech University, among others. Uh, Tell feels that leadership and innovation together fuels a nation, helps to invigorate a struggling economy, and improves the quality of our community and world. In late 2009, he received a letter of recognition from President Obama for his suggestions and views on restoring economic health and vitality in the United States. As the president and charter member of Talent Ideas Enterprise, otherwise known as Thai Detroit uh, chapter, he carried out a passion to serve the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Uh, the focus of Thai Detroit is on building and nurturing the next generation of entrepreneurs by providing several business networking opportunities in the form of events, seminars, and workshops. And uh, the next one is October 28th, 29th. I think it's the biggest event of the year for Thai Detroit. Uh, it's at the Henry. Uh, there's a lot of great speakers on that program, and you have some cards on your tables about that one. Um, his biggest positive experience was being able to nurture and mentor entrepreneurs. Through his own experience and interactions with entrepreneurs, he hopes to enhance their learning curves and see them develop into more experienced and productive professionals. Please help me congratulate Mr. Tell Gansey. Thank you, RJ. Thank you, Ping Lee. Uh, thank you, APAC. I'm honored and humbled today, and uh, this gives me more inspiration and motivation to do more. I don't want to take too much of time. I just wanted to share a few thoughts about Detroit and Michigan. And uh, I know Detroit has been in troubling times and challenging times lately, and uh, the sky was falling. Doom and gloom last year, but I think uh, we are recurring back and um, we are moving forward. Uh, but I want to leave with these thoughts uh, to help inspire all of you to really do things for Michigan, uh, where we play, call us a home. And Detroit is the place where we first laid the road for the entire world, you know, M1 Woodward Avenue. That's where we showed to the world how to build a road. And Henry Ford came back and said, this is the place where we're going to build cars, innovate cars, and put the roads on the, world, on, the car, on the road and show to the whole world that not only how we can build road, but also build cars. But somewhere in the last 50 years or so, we just lost our innovative streak. And somehow we became complacent. Somehow we lost our risk-taking mentality. Uh, but the innovative streak has always there been in Detroit. But some of that now it's, it's in the Silicon Valley and Boston. So all I wanted to call upon all the successful entrepreneurs is really to reignite what we already have and pursue that innovation that we already had for the last 100 years and bring back our city Detroit and bring back Michigan. And I wanted to call upon all successful entrepreneurs to give back. When I say give back, I'm not asking them to give money, but give back all their knowledge lessons learned and help rebuild our city, rebuild our Michigan and bring this place forward which all of us call home. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.